Alright, looks like we're live. Woo, we're live. Hey. How's anybody it going, there? everybody? Anybody, uh, anybody there? Uh, I don't, doesn't look like yet. But. Oh, man. Hi, nobody. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. We're going to oh. be playing some Silent Hill 2 again. For the for the last time, for the first time. But but actually just the last time. We are going for our final ending of Silent Hill 2, the UFO ending. Yep, and it's we, been like four months since we played this last, so yeah. we're like all rusty. <laughs> yeah, last time we played this, we got it done in under an hour and a half. Or just a little over an hour and a half. We're going to go ahead and... I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Yeah, we're going to skip cutscene, skipping time. All right. So, important... In order ah, there to, it there is. There it is. I see it. On the ground right there. The blue gem. If we want to get the UFO ending, you need to pick up the blue gem. And use it in three very specific places. And we will show you what those places are. Yep. It is right here in the beginning. In the, uh... In the in, restroom. In the restroom. In the first toilet stall. It's a it's a branch. I know, but like the way the camera was, it kind of looked like it was just a shark out there. Okay, you don't. All right. Cool. Blue gem area number two. If you missed the first one, that is right after you get uh, woken up from the flesh lips. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is adorable. Uh, it's so because it was just a a flat texture, like just a screenshot of the the boat. <laughs> they didn't even try. <laughs> <coughs> hey everybody, my name is Alden. I'm Drew, and welcome back to uh, Silent Hill. We are going to showcase <coughs> the last ending. Yep. So. Uh, for this one, just a quick recap before we do it. Uh, in the bathroom stall, in the very beginning of the game, uh, you pick up a blue gem. That's this guy right here. It says maybe I can use it somewhere. There are three locations that you have to use it in. The first is right after the flesh lips fight, fight you wake up in the outside. You have to use it there. The second one is after you kill Eddie, you have to use it right before you get on the boat to get into Taluk Lake. And then here, right before you watch the videotape, we're going to use it one last time, and that's what unlocks the ending. In order to get this, you need to have all of the other endings and have played through the Born From A Wish sub-scenario. So if you're using a original PS2 copy of the game, pre-director's cut, you will not have this ending because you will not have Born From A Wish. Right. So, without further ado... <laughs> There's an army of them. Oh, <laughs> 
What? <laughs> There's little scenes, kind of like what we saw with the uh, poorly photoshopped flying saucers flying through to the window. When you use the gem the other two times, I'll cut them out of the stream and splice them in. Oh, okay. goes up on YouTube. Was... <laughs> Never to be heard from again. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> so we there we go. Seven endings. Ending clear. Four out of four plus three. Wow. Oh, wow. What's our rank? One, two, three, four, five, six point nine. Looks like yeah, six point nine. Not bad. Just under seven. Not bad. All right. Oh so man. Just to point this out, the and the items that are highlighted in yellow are the ones that you need. Are um sorry, those are those fit the qualifications for the ten standing. So right. Um, like the, the defeated enemies, the boat stage time, um, the saves. I believe all need to be better than what we were. Here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We have to like we're not even gonna be able to get all the achievements for this because like nope. 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 You have to fight seventy five enemies with both guns and melee, pick up over I think we did do over hundred and fifty items. Yeah, we've oh, we've got oh, it right there. Got it right there. Um and then like our boat time needs to be under one twenty. I think we got that achievement, but there's I mean, yeah, there's some really... It's annoying. It's yeah. stupid. Don't do it. Not worth it. Anyways, <laughs> um, pretty sure this actually wraps up Silent Hill 2. Yeah, I mean, with the exception of the soapbox rent, I think we have everything yeah. we need. This is everything in the game to showcase, aside from, like, 10-star ending. Ouch. Which is, no. I can't do <laughs> I can't. I mean, there's nothing special from yeah, getting a 10-star ending. It's just you get a better hyper spray. Ooh, ooh, it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. No, that's gonna wrap us up. Uh, look in the near future for a rant. It's probably gonna be one of our longer videos, um, wherein we're going to go in depth into a character analysis with James. Again, we're assuming the water ending in this case. Uh, that's the um, large, largely considered canon ending. Uh, so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna analyze how the game fits into James's story. Alright, we'll catch you guys next time. See ya!